The Time Traveling Thanksgiving Feast Fairy Tale 1, The Pilgrim's Grateful Gathering. In the picturesque town of Harmonyville, nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, lived a group of friends who held a special tradition every year, a grand Thanksgiving feast. This feast was unlike any other, where laughter echoed through the air, and the aroma of delicious food filled every corner of the cozy cottage. As the friends gathered around the long wooden table, they shared stories of their year's adventures, accomplishments, and moments of gratitude. This particular year, the feeling of togetherness was so strong that it seemed to cast a magical spell upon the room. The grandfather clock, a cherished antique that stood against the wall, struck midnight with a deep, resonating chime. A soft, iridescent shimmer enveloped the room, wrapping the friends in its gentle embrace. Before they could comprehend what was happening, a radiant light surrounded them. The friends exchanged bewildered glances as they found themselves standing on a sandy shore, facing a vast expanse of ocean. The scene before them was unlike anything they had ever seen. A settlement of modest thatched roof buildings stood amidst the wilderness, with a sense of unity that warmed their hearts. Their initial surprise gave way to realization. They were standing on the shores of Plymouth, Massachusetts, in the year 1620. The historical significance of this place was not lost on them, and they felt a deep sense of honor to be witness to such a monumental moment. As they observed the pilgrims, dressed in simple yet sturdy garments, going about their tasks, the friends were struck by the profound gratitude that permeated the air. Despite the harsh conditions they had endured, the pilgrims were preparing for a feast to express their gratitude for the bountiful harvest. It was not a feast of grandeur, but one of humility and genuine thankfulness. Moved by the scene before them, the friends joined the pilgrims in their preparations. They helped gather vegetables from the gardens, set up makeshift tables, and even assisted in cooking over an open fire. The simplicity of the tasks reminded them of the essence of thanksgiving, the act of coming together and sharing what they had, no matter how humble. As the feast commenced, the pilgrims shared stories of their journey, of the trials and tribulations they had faced. The friends listened intently, their hearts heavy with the weight of the pilgrims' sacrifices. In return, the friends shared stories of their modern lives, of bustling cities, technological marvels, and the marvels of flight. Laughter erupted as they tried to explain concepts that were utterly foreign to the pilgrims. Amidst the stories and laughter, the friends found themselves sitting among the pilgrims as a profound moment of thanksgiving took place. The leader of the pilgrims stood and offered a heartfelt prayer, giving thanks for the harvest and the bonds that had been formed through their hardships. Tears filled the eyes of the friends as they felt the weight of this simple yet profound act of gratitude. Before they knew it, the shimmering light began to envelop them once again. As they returned to the present day, the sense of connection and appreciation lingered in their hearts. They looked around the familiar cottage, still filled with the echoes of their own laughter, and realized that Thanksgiving was not just about the feast, but about the gratitude that bound them together. In the days that followed, the friends couldn't help but reflect on their journey to the past. They realized that the essence of gratitude remained constant throughout history regardless of time or circumstance. They were inspired to embrace the spirit of thankfulness in their own lives, to cherish the bonds of friendship, and to carry forward the simple yet profound lessons they had learned from the pilgrims' grateful gathering.